Um, I think in, for our purposes, in our context, financial literacy really means everything that a student uh, needs to be aware of, needs to know uh, to be able to plan financially for post-secondary education. So things like cost of education, tuition, how much it costs to study for two to four years, um, uh, rates of return, how much they're going to make afterwards so they can assess the value, how to save for post-secondary, um, how to access student financial assistance. So all of the financial planning that goes into thinking about post-secondary education, but importantly it doesn't just mean having the information, it means having the capacity to be able to act on that information. So financial literacy means both knowing something about the financing around post-secondary education, but also being able to make decisions and act on that information, having the capacity to be able to do that. There are a number of um, misperceptions and there's quite a bit of misinformation about financing for post-secondary and I think that those misperceptions and that misinformation can cause people to make uninformed decisions. Um, so for instance, um, many people point to the complexity of the student, fi student financial assistance process. Um, the, the how students are overwhelmed by information and they're overwhelmed by by uh, complex information, which in and of itself creates a barrier to accessing student financial assistance. Um, there's also some misperceptions about um, tuition levels. People very often overestimate how much tuition is. People also, it's been shown, underestimate the rates of return on, on, uh, on university and college education. So uh, those sorts of misperceptions can cause people to make uninformed decisions. I think what we've seen, um, especially for low-income students, is that um, the, the lowest-income students really have, in terms of their participation rates, really have flatlined over the last couple of decades. Um, there has been a real inability to move that participation um, line, uh, no matter what you do to tuition, no matter what you do to student financial assistance. Um, the lowest-income students just aren't participating in the same numbers as their middle and high-income peers, and that, and that gap is really growing. So I would suggest that if we don't address that, you, you are really locking out an entire sort of cohort of students from, from post-secondary education. I think there are a number of really, really innovative programs out there. Um, there are a number of really innovative savings programs out there. Uh, financial literacy is a very hot topic right now. There are a number of organizations like SETI um, that, that um, have taken on financial literacy as, a, um, as, a, as an issue of interest. Um, we're having a conference in the fall. Uh, specifically on financial literacy and planning for post-secondary education. Um, a lot of those organizations and those innovative practices are coming to the conference and will be speaking about their practices. It's very exciting.